Friend, naniniwala ka ba na panapanahon ang lahat sa buhay? Hi guys, Jean Charles here and welcome to my inspirational series, Words to Ponder. Bago ang lahat, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell to be notified of my future vlogs! So ayun nga guys, ang tanong ko nga kanina, naniniwala ka ba na panapanahon ang lahat sa buhay? Tanggap mo ba na may panahong nasa itaas ka at may panahong nasa ibaba ka? Kwentuhan muna kita in seasons. 2010, I graduated with flying colors. Nakatanggap ako ng academic distinction at napaakyat ko ang parents ko sa stage para tumanggap ng academic award. Isang achievement ang makatapos sa college pero mas achievement sa akin ang mapaakyat ko ang parents ko sa stage at tumanggap ng isang academic award. 2010 was my summer. 2013, after 5 months in the relationship, my ex-girlfriend and I decided to break up. It was no longer working although we did put our best to work it out. Nakaka-apekto na kasi sa studies namin, kaya we decided to move on without each other. Mabuti na lang, the year did not end in a low note. I was accepted for a job as a human resource specialist. 2013 was my autumn. 2014, I incurred a lot of debts from credit card purchases. I struggled to pay my debts while not sacrificing my ability to provide for myself and for my family. So, to distract myself from this problem, I started my Wattpad account to write stories online. Doon napunta ang focus ko para mawala sa isip ko ang problema ito. 2015, our tita suffered a stroke. It was all sudden and unexpected, but it all happened just the same. We needed to take care of her day in and day out. I juggled my obligations to my family, to my work, and to my studies all at the same time, without compromising the continuing studies of my siblings. My siblings and I needed to make major adjustments in our lives na sanay kasama ang tita namin. Tapos, because of uncertainties, indifferences, and misunderstandings, I clashed with my relatives in various proportions. It was a difficult time because I also had obligations on my own. Before the year ended, our loving tita passed away. 2014 and 2015 were my winter. 2016 turned out to be the year of the new leaf. Natutunan naming magkakapatid na mag-adjust sa aming buhay kahit wala na ang aming tita. I started to accept to myself all of the wrongdoings I did in the previous years. I was able to pay some of my debts and was on my way to financial stability. At work, I claimed it as the best year ever. Mataas ang performance appraisal ko nung taong ito. 2018, I started to attend the feast, a weekly gathering founded by Brother Bo Sanchez after akong imbitahan ng kapatid kong bunso. Ang dami kong realization noong mga panahong iyon that made me fix my spiritual life. From then on, I committed to myself to change a lot in my life kahit na mahirap at masakit ang mga pagbabagong ito. 2016 and 2018 were my spring. 2019, the year of growth. Ang dami kong nagawa at na-accomplish ng taong ito. I started investing, vlogging, blogging, learning new things, attending conferences and seminars, honing my skills, and accepting to myself who I really am with God on my side. This year ended with bliss in my mind, my heart, and my soul. 2019 was my summer again. Friend, Kung napansin nyo, may mga panahong nasa taas ako, nasa baba ako, o nasa gitna ako. May summer, may autumn, may winter, at may spring. Kung iisipin may mga panahon na sa buhay ko na dapat sumuko na lang ako. Pero may mga panahon din naman na masaya ako. Hindi ko pinili ang mga panahong ito, pero hindi rin ako nagstay sa mga panahong ito. Ang ginawa ko lang, tinuloy ko ang paglakad sa daan ng buhay ko. Tinanggap ko ng buong-buo ang mga seasons ng buhay ko. Eventually, I realized that those were the seasons na kailangan kong pagdaanan to become a better person. Friend, 
ang buhay mo ay panapanahon. May panahong mahirap, madali, malungkot, masaya, kapos, at masagana. Hindi pwedeng iisang panahon lang ang meron ka dahil darating at darating ka rin sa panahon na iyon whether you like it or not. At kailangan mong pagdaanan ang mga panahong ito dahil dito mo malalaman kung ano ka at ano ang kaya mong gawin bilang tao. The seasons of your life will build your character to become the best version of you. Kailangan mo lang magtiwala na kailangan mo ang mga panahong ito para malaman mo kung anong makakabuti sa buhay mo. Friend, believe in your season. Magtiwala ka sa panahon mo ngayon dahil yan ang hahasa sa success ng buhay mo. I hope na inspire na naman kita ulit, my friend. Kung hindi man, just let me know by leaving me a message down below sa comment section. At kung na-inspire man kita, please spread this inspiration to everyone, to your families, to your friends, and even to strangers. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell to be notified of my future inspirational and motivational vlogs. Once again, my friend, this is Jean Charles. Be inspired today. Be an inspiration.